that a test result? No, it's an electricity bill. <laughs> you know, it's actually good to know that you can still crack jokes. What does the result say? Why don't you take it and see for yourself? Hmm. Okay. Is this me reading this like it's upside down or it says you're negative? I'm HIV negative. That's good news. Yeah. But I was asked to come back for another test in three months after I told them reasons I think I might be infected. No, no, no. This is the Lord's doing. You don't have to go back for a second time. Well, don't be too big to celebrate, boiling. <laughs> you know, I... I prayed over this, and it's such a delight my prayers has been answered. You should be careful, though. I wouldn't want to infect you. Stop talking like that, Rachel. You're only destroying your faith. Honestly, Boali, I don't... I don't feel like a Christian anymore. Each time I close my eyes to pray, I feel like such... unworthy hypocrite. Our Lord is merciful enough to forgive all our iniquities if only we can ask and we're willing to change our ways. Oh, well, here is my confusion. How will God forgive someone who ruins someone else's life for their benefit? What are you talking about? I, uh, I stole Mabel's deepest secret to her brother-in-law. You? That's how I was able to raise the money. We want Tonya to further her education. So the family have asked me to come along with her. Well, that's a, that's a welcome development. Thank I you. personally think that Tonya is a very intelligent young woman and she deserves a lot better than just ending up being a, a help. Thank you. If it's possible, I would like her to live with me now. Wow, I, I didn't think it was right away. Uh, I'll be leaving for my sister's place in Joss tomorrow, and I would like to go with her. I'm not going anywhere, Mama. Tonya, you can no longer stay here. We've talked about this before. Why would you just come and try to take away my happiness? Tonya, you can't speak to your mother that way. No, she hates me. She hates to see me happy. No, she doesn't. She does not, Tonya. Come on. You know what? I'm, I'm going to leave both of you to continue this conversation. Get up and leave. Tonya, you will get yourself into trouble. Let's leave now that it's safe for you. Leave now, please, Mama. If you ever come back here again, I will kill you. So have you decided on the best way you'd like to die? What? Listen, you're either going to get killed by trying to help the authorities put Austin behind bars, or from trying to run away from all of this. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. I'm just trying to prepare your mind. I mean, at the end of this all, either way, we die. Speak for yourself. I'm not going down in this war. I will survive whichever way I have to. <laughs> you know, Mabel, I've always liked your optimism and courage. How exactly do you think this is going to end? 
Maybe we should actually help the authorities put us in a way. But obviously without him knowing that we're involved. Good luck with that. I'm thinking of coming clean to Austin. What do you mean coming clean? Tell him about the business I established with the money I took from him. <coughs> And then what? He will applaud you for confessing and forgive you. I don't know, Dona. I'm just thinking of entangling myself from this web of betrayal and secrecy. The best thing you can do for yourself is to cooperate with the authorities. Because that's the only way you could get pardoned and exempted from persecution. What kind of brother would I be if I'm part of a process that puts my own blood brother behind bars? Is it that you help take down Austin or let him drag down every other person with him? Whichever way you want it to end, I'm fine with it. Hello, Michael. Did you get my text? Um, I sent you a text of a lawyer's number, the lawyer that's supposed to help with your wife's case. What do you mean by you don't need it? Listen, I know you think your wife is guilty, but come on. You're supposed to stand by your wife at a time like this. I just want you to call that lawyer and have your wife on bail first. Hello? Hello? Sounds like someone's having police trouble. Mm-hmm. It's my friend Eunice. She's been accused of her own sister's murder. And her husband is not even doing anything to help. Maybe he knows that she's guilty of a crime. And what if she is? Whatever happens, if for better for worse. Says the woman who's trying to help authorities put her husband behind bars. No, you can't compare these two circumstances. Well, if you ask me, they're both tests of loyalty. Are you judging me? Oh no, just have a conversation. How about you converse with yourself? I have some place to be. Come on, Derek. That judgmental stare is so necessary. So you've been making my brother raise another man's child? It was a mistake. Okay? I found out when it was quite late and keeping it a secret seemed like the only thing to do. What about you and Sanchez? Was that a mistake too? Derek, your brother abandoned me for over a year. I have needs. And you couldn't think of a less stupid and life-threatening way to meet those needs. How did you find out about my secrets? Especially about the paternity of my daughter. And why would I tell you that? Because it will help me know what decision to make moving forward. And I'll know if I can still keep all this away from Austin. How exactly do you think that's going to be possible? First, by knowing how the secret got out. And then I can Take care of every other loophole. Really? So how do you plan on taking care of me from keeping this from Austin? Derek, you can't tell Austin. Are you kidding me right now? He will never forgive me when he finds out eventually. Okay. Advise me, Derek. What would you have me do? Hmm? Would you have me pack my bags and run away? Or wait for Austin's rot after you've told him. What deal would you make with Donna? Uh, she. 
She wants me to assist her in getting Austin arrested. She says that's the only way I can be safe. Do you agree with her? I don't know. Should I? Mabel is in our corner now, and I would like to know how best we could use her to our advantage. Is she in touch with Austin? Well, I like to think so. She's his wife. How much value does she really have, since the guy couldn't even come home to her rescue when she was kidnapped? It doesn't mean she's a zero. At least they have a child together, even if he's not the biological father of the child. And you think he doesn't know about that yet? He doesn't know. If he does, he would have ordered Derek to stop taking care of the girl's financial needs. You see, the only person I want you to focus right now and to bring to our corner is Sanchez. All right? With that, we have a jackpot if that happens. Why would you think so? You see, Sanchez is the only one that has worked closely and directly with Austin. He knows how they operate and how best to put him down. I can't argue with that, True. Honestly, he's the only one that can really help us put an end to all this hide and seek game. should confess to Mabel. Confess what? That I sold her secret. Why would you want to do that? Because it's weighing on my mind, Bo. I can't sleep and I want my peace of mind back. You feel guilty. And it's normal. Just give it some time, all right? You'll get over it. I won't. Bo, if I'm ever going to retrace my steps back to genuine Christianity, then I want to do so with an open heart, a clean heart and hand. So you'd rather find your way back to a lost family and tell them about who murdered your daughter? No, that's... Settled already. We paid them off. That doesn't make it less sinful, if you'd ask me. That sin is what you should worry more about. Hey, look. Let's just let sleeping dogs lie. Okay? Yeah, we should. Who's this? Where are you, Derek? Bro, how are you calling me with a private number? How is that a problem? I'm just surprised. You, you never called me with a private number before. Where are you? I'm at work. Are you alone? Yes. Any news about who's behind Mabel's kid? Nothing. Um, looks like they must have covered their tracks really well. Oh, you're just not looking in the right places. I really don't have enough time on my hands investigating that matter when I have businesses to run. Speaking of business, I'm yet to see the external auditors you said you were sending over. I told them to hold on. We are definitely be coming. Okay. I'll be expectant.
Your husband has refused to call the lawyer. I have sent him the text of the lawyer's number, but he just wouldn't call. I don't even know what is wrong with your husband. He's acting like he caught you in the act and can never forgive you. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but you need to understand that I have my own problems, and my problems are way bigger than yours. Okay. Hello, Mabel. What do you want? Are you not happy to see me? No. Unless you're here to tell me how you found out about a secret I will successfully kept for many years. <laughs> how deep is your relationship with Sanchez? I'm not having that conversation with you. Maybe how else do I explain to you that your life is in my hands? And you being your life right now depends on me. So help me help you. It was just an affair. Okay? Two horny adults decided to get their freak on. That's it. Nothing more. Does he care about you? I don't know how you expect me to answer that question. He called me with a private number. Austin never calls me with a private number. Why does this bother you so much? He doesn't trust me anymore. Come on, bro. That ship has sailed a long time ago. I told you, one of the reasons I'm here in Nigeria is to keep an eye on your activities. I almost told him about the truth about his daughter's paternity when he called. Well, you might as well take a gun and shoot Mabel in the head. Austin will never forgive me when he finds out that I knew about this truth and kept it from him. And you think he'll forgive you for stealing from him? The way I see it, one crime is bigger than the other. Oh, no. See, we've all betrayed him. And trust me, he'll judge us all equally. So do you think you could make him help us get Austin? Why don't you ask him that question yourself? Maybe I'll. Sanchez and Austin share such a bond that it's going to take a lot to break. Mm. And people in the line of underworld duty have been known to have such diehard loyalty for each other. <laughs> If that is true, then why is he having an affair with me? My thoughts exactly. There must be something about you that he cannot resist. I think he's in love with you. No, oh, please don't flatter me. Oh, no, I'm not flattering you. I'm serious, Mabel. You said having an affair, which means that the affair is still ongoing. Even you, while you guys have been caught already. I was a grammatical blunder. Uh, I meant had an affair. You know that Sanchez can get any girl he wants because he has the money. Why do you think he wants to betray Austin to just have sex with you? So you think I can get him to turn Austin in? Mm-hmm. He's the only joker we have right now. And if you can make him help us, I will make sure that I get him a good consideration and you guys can live happily ever after while Austin is behind bars. How do you think this is going to end, Sanchez? You know, I've been asking myself the same question. Do you think it's wise we work with Duna? Man, we have insiders in all arms of law enforcement agencies. Austin will find out the minute you turn on him. So we just sit down and do nothing? It's like sitting on a time bomb. Listen, there's only one way that you, me, and Mabel make it out of this alive. Which is? I don't think you want to hear what I have to say. I want to hear anything now, Sanchez. Austin behind bars is not a solution. He can do so many things from prison. So what's the solution?
What? Sanchez is suggesting you kill Austin. Not me. <sighs> he says that's the only way we can be saved if he's dead. No, the only way you can be saved is if he's arrested, prosecuted and proven for his crimes. This is all messed up. Calm down. I spoke to Mabel and she said, okay, she's convinced Sanchez to work with the authorities to get Austin to justice. Are you aware Austin has a lot of your people on his payroll? It's not impossible. How else do you think he has been able to evade all this persecution, all this while? So what makes this time different? Because this is the first time I'm getting close to people who can give me evidence and information that can put him away for good. That is if he doesn't put all of us away first. Derek, I know you're scared. It is normal. But trust me, this is the right thing to do. When are you leaving, Tonya? Leaving to where? To just, like your mom wanted to conclude your education. I'm not going anywhere. I told you so before. You need to go, Tonya. <laughs> so who would take care of you if I leave? Uh, I'll be fine, okay? You don't need to worry about me. No, you won't. You won't be fine without me, and I won't be fine without you too. Tonya? I appreciate your concern, but believe me when I say you need to move on with your life. Move on to what? <laughs> to Joss. To further your education like your mother wanted. That's what's best for you. I know what's best for me. And being with you is all I want. Look, Tony, I'm traveling, okay? I'm relocating to Germany, never to return to this country. I'm... No, you're not. Yes. I am. I got enough money from Eunice's accounts to process my travel documents and it's almost concluded. Um, are we living together? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I will give you enough money to, you know, further your education. It's the best I can do. No, Mike, you're not going to leave me. You're not going to abandon me after everything I've done for you. I mean, I killed Natasha because of our love. I want to be together. You did what? Please, Michael. Please don't leave me. I mean, I've done so much for you to abandon me now. Please. Hang on. Did you just say that you killed Natasha? Yes, I did. And I, I did it because of our love for us to be together. Can't you see we're meant to be together? No more, no more Eunice, no more Natasha. Just me and you. What's with the stare? I can ask you the same. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Why are you still here? Well, I'm waiting for you to close so I can take you home. And make sure you get home safe and sound. That is not what I'm asking. I mean, why are you still in this country? Why are you still close to me considering the risk now that people know about our affair? I was told to keep you safe, and that's what I intend to do. Are you in love with me? How much alcohol have you had today? I'm not drunk. Answer the question. Why would you even ask me that? Because I'm trying to understand why you would betray Austin and get involved with me knowing the possible consequences. I made a mistake in a moment of weakness. 
I don't believe you. That's your business. <laughs> Love makes people do stupid things. Well, stupid actions make people think they're in love. Still not picking? Yes, I think he's busy. Let me just keep trying. Can you be trying for four days now and he hasn't been picking up your calls? What kind of busy busyness is that? I don't know what to think. Look, I think your husband is avoiding you. No! He's going to get me a lawyer that will get me out of here. Madam, why don't you take my advice and confess to this crime? So that I, I can help you. Help me how exactly? Reduce your sentence. Thanks, but no thanks. I didn't kill my sister. I think you should work with Duna. Work with Duna? Well, what does that even mean? You're the only one that can help facilitate Austin's arrest, so all this can be done and over with. <laughs> done and over with? Do, do you know who you're messing with? I know. I know my husband is a very dangerous man. <laughs> you think you know, but you have no idea. Excuse me. Hello? Mipo, it's Eunice. Oh, Eunice. Um, are you back home now? See, that your husband, eh? That your husband is just something else. Help me, Mabel. Please, for old time's sake. Don't let me die here. I'll see what I can do. Welcome. Thank you. Please, sit. Thank you. <laughs> Where is my daughter? I sent her to the dry cleaners, uh, afterwards to the market to get a few things, just so we could have some privacy. Okay. Mm. When you asked me to come straight away, I was so worried. <laughs> no, well, I wasn't sure if you were still in town. It's a good thing you still are, anyway. All right. So what happened? Mama, it's your daughter, Tonia. She said some very disturbing things um, that I thought you should know about. What did she say? She claimed she was responsible for the death of my sister-in-law. I asked her again this morning, and she repeated the same story. <laughs> Don't mind her. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. How do you mean? Uh, she started showing signs when she was nine years old. But we tried to calm her. But I think the illness is back now. H hang on a minute, Mama. You mean Tonya is mental and you didn't think you should tell us before we employed her? Hey, Sanchez. Hey, Don. I heard you wanted to see me. What could I possibly want to see you for? Um, Mabel said you wanted me to uh, work with you. Oh, yes. I appreciate that. At least it's going to help facilitate things to bring this whole chase to a conclusive end. Oh. Okay. Where, where's your phone? What do you need my phone for? If you want me to talk, you do as I say.
Hands up. Yeah. What are you Stand doing, up. James? Oh, just making sure that she's not wearing a wire trying to record me. Why would I want to do that? Uh, let's just say I have trust issues, so if you don't mind, indulge me. Turn around. Mm. We set aside. For now. So, how can I help? You're the one that has worked really closely into us, too. And you know where these bodies have been buried, and best show how to dig them up. I mean, I know you speak figuratively, but let me tell you literally, you will be a buried body if you try to put Austin behind bars while he is still breathing. I can, and I will. You said it yourself. I am the one that has worked closer with him, and no one else knows him better in this room than me. You do not know me. You don't know how determined I could be and the length I could go to get what I want. Unless you are willing to shoot Austin the minute you set your eyes on him, I'm not going to try to help you arrest him because the minute we do that, we are all dead. Trust me, you guys will be fine. Trust me, we will all be dead. What about if we decide to keep each other's secrets and not tell Austin anything? Yeah, secrets kind of have a way of coming out. The only way we make it out of this alive is if we get rid of Austin. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not in support of shooting Austin on sight. I cannot commit a crime while trying to solve another. All right then. Might as well start preparing for our own funerals. She's not crazy. The doctor said it was personality disorder. Same difference, Mama. <laughs> no wonder she thinks I'm going to marry her. Look, Mama, the only reason why I've not involved the police is because I think that my wife deserves what she's going through right now. Also, I don't want anything complicating the case. Thank you. But Mama, please, you need to find a way to get her out of here before she opens her mouth again and tells somebody else that she killed Natasha. She even threatens to kill me if I ever come back here. This girl really is crazy. I've been sleeping and waking up every day with danger. She will not harm you. How can you even say that, Mama? Because he's obsessed with you. She will do everything to protect you and be with you. Sanchez says that the only way you could work with us is if I shoot us in dead. That's not logical. He says he's scared that Austin might come after them, even when we lock him up. I understand his fears. But you see, we can't deny how powerful and well-connected Austin is. So, do we go back to using the door blade, since the sharp one has refused to help us out? You mean going back to Mabel? And Eric? You can go ahead and do whatever you can. Three days ago, and I've not seen him since. I don't know what to do. Oh, stop asking me to go to Joss with you. I am not going anywhere. Hello? Hello, wifey. Austin, hi. Quite some time. 
And whose fault is that? You've been incommunicado for months. You know how hectic my job gets sometimes. Mm-hmm. I know. Not to worry, I'll be home soon. You always say that. Like, I'm tired of hearing that. Can you just stop saying that? How is my daughter? Um... <clears throat> she's fine. Um, about that, listen, I think I was wrong, okay? The company belongs to his friend. Really? Yes. <clears throat> I only said he was stealing from you because I was angry he was questioning my money demands. I see. I'll talk to you later. Why are you looking like you just saw a ghost? Um, so, um, sorry, ma. I'm just surprised to see you. Welcome, ma. Where's my husband? I haven't seen him in three days now. Where did he say he was going to? He didn't say. I woke up and he had left already. But, ma, how did you come out of prison? Well, I told him that the company belongs to your friend. And I was only angry at you for questioning my money demands. Did he believe you? I think so. He said that he'll be in Nigeria soon. We've been hearing that for some time now. Derek, I, I need some money. Five million naira off records. For what? Listen, I need to take my daughter out of this country and as far away as possible. Why? I don't know what Austin's reaction will be after he finds out the truth about my daughter's paternity. You really think you can run and hide? I am not running or hiding. I just want to make sure my daughter is safe. And then I can face the consequences of my mistakes. I really wish I could help you. But I'm sorry, I can't. I don't understand. You have to ask Austin to give that order. Are you, are you joking? You hear where Austin is talking about sending external auditors? Well then, give me the money from your personal account. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you think that I am that rich. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. Yes? Who? Hello, kiddo. Austin. Quite a surprise. I know. Are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna come and give a big brother a hug? <laughs> come over here. Look at you, all skinny. What's that? Give me a hug. <laughs> Good to see you. Likewise. Hmm. <laughs> uh, when did you come into the country? About two weeks ago. You've been in town for two weeks now. Mm -hmm. I had so few things to sort out. 
Who else knows you've been in town for that long? By anyone you mean who exactly? <clears throat> Mabel Sanchez. There's no need to tell them how long I've been in town. I would like to keep it that way. So you're not going home to your wife? I have a crucial meeting to attend tonight. And the outcome of that will determine if I will make my presence known to anyone else as I do, or if I'll be flying back. So I can't let anyone know you're in town? I just said so. Anyway, how is business? Um, fine. Which of the reports do you want me to show you? The automobile business or the... Yes. All right. I have to go now. Oh. But I will see you again soon, OK? Come on. Give me a hug again. <laughs> Rich Michael, tell him to return my money and also tell him to tell me where I can send the divorce papers for him to sign. Peter, I want my money. I really worked hard for that money. I want my money! Um, sorry, excuse me, ma. Did you say your has traveled out of the country? Can you imagine the nonsense? Don't leave me like this. How can you abandon me after all, after all I've done for him? What are you saying? He's the love of my life. He promised never to leave me. Huh? I killed my sister because of him. No. He cannot abandon me like this. It's not possible. You killed my sister! You killed what are you saying? Yes! And we need to find Michael now. I can't live without him now. I love him. I love Michael. What are you saying? He told me to choose not to say I'm free if I really like him. How can he abandon me after I did what he asked? Come to my house right away. It's an emergency. No, 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 Guess who just left my office? Do I get it clear? He's someone you've been trying to put behind bars. No way, Austin! Keep your voice down. He says no one should know he's in town. But didn't the staff see him coming? They don't know him in person. They just know his name. Oh, finally! The chase is going to be over soon. <sighs> I don't think that's going to be easy. Uh, why not? If the authorities of Broad could not arrest or pin anything on him, what makes you think you guys can make this one stick? That is why we need you and Sanchez on this. Especially Sanchez. So call him and let's arrange a meeting or something. Sanchez cannot know Austin is in town. He told me not to tell anyone. What's wrong with you? Why are you always listening to Austin? 
We need to work together to take him down. Wait, your husband had an affair with your maid? I'm still in shock. She said he told her to kill Natasha and free me for it. Why? So they can be together. <laughs> Where is she now? I called the detective, so she repeated the same thing to the police, so they've taken her to the station for further questioning. But do you think this is true? Like, do you think your husband is capable of all these things your maid is saying? With his attitude towards me when I was in police custody, and the way he stole all my money and ran away, I would say yes. Hmm. This is just ridiculous. I mean, when did your husband become like this? When did he become such a thoughtless demon? He was such a good and nice guy. He was faking it all along. And I guess he got tired of pretending. Wow. Let's just take it easy, okay? Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. So this better be worth my time, like y'all said over the phone. It's time for action. We need your help. What kind of? Austin is in the country. Sorry, what? Say that again. My brother is in town. He's been in Nigeria for two weeks now. Wait, are, are you sure? He left here a few hours ago. He said I shouldn't tell anyone. Okay, so then why are you telling us? I couldn't keep it to myself. He made me feel really uncomfortable the way he looked and smiled at me. All right, Donald, so how do you want me to help? Hardcore and enable evidence that connects Austin to the drug trafficking network. What part of your plan is terrible, don't you understand? You just play your part and I'll play mine. Austin is too smooth. There's always 10 steps ahead of the authorities. We just want you to build a watertight case that is going to take him out permanently. That's if you're going to give us an evidence that we need. Or testify against him when the time comes. Then we'll all be safe. <laughs> So I just come back. Oh. He comes back into town after so long, and his brother is the first person he thinks to make aware of his presence. I'm sure he has his reasons. Well, clearly I'm worthless to him. He doesn't want anyone to know that he's in town, so you have to act like you know nothing. Do you think he knows about us already? It's hard to tell. But I'd rather assume that he doesn't, and we'll be doing ourselves a big favor if we got rid of him before he found out. <laughs> Get rid of him how? Do you know how to use a gun? No. I'm going to teach you, because you're going to need that skill. See you. You're the most wanted man right now, Austin. Mm. You flatter me too much. It's serious this time around. The law enforcement agency, both foreign and domestic, are actually looking for a way in bringing down your cartel. Well, it won't be the first or the second to try. It's serious this time, okay? They're actually coming from every angle, if you must know. Oh, that's why I give you top dollar to keep me, give me heads up. 
You can also attest to the fact that I've been doing a good job for you. And you can also tell me how much you've been smiling to the bank. <sighs> what is with the girl that you placed in my company? Um, yeah, it was part of my plan to tighten up all loose ends and to make and to find out what is going on with your most trusted man, your brother. As in making sure he's not gonna be in trouble. Does she know the truth? Um, no, as far as she's concerned, uh, we are trying to put you behind bars. When Sanchez told me about her, I wanted him to get rid of her until you told me that she was from your camp and that she was there for my own good. If not, how else would I have known that you never trusted your brother, Sanchez, and even your wife? You don't say. Look, I have so much to tell you, but you see, I'm not going to dump everything on you right now because it's going to affect your sense of reasoning and make you take a drastic action that might put you in trouble. Tell me what I need to know. First of all, you need to deal with Sanchez. Take him off. I don't think he's the type you need in your team. Is that you? It's good to know you still have my voice stored in your memory. You are the worst mistake I ever made in my life. Well, the feeling is mutual. And you're worse than a mistake. Michael, where is my money? Michael, I will find you and I will take all that you stole from me to the last cobble. Enough for the empty threats. I my and, my and I don't intend to stop until you return all that you stole from me. Michael, all I need from you are two things. My money and a divorce. After that, you can go to hell for all I care. should inform the police and NDLE about Austin's arrival into the country, sir. Why? So they can arrest him, sir, before he leaves the country again. Do you have hardcore exclusive information you are yet to share with me in this case? No, sir. Then we do not have enough grounds to suggest an arrest just yet. Well, sir, there has to be something we could use to pin him down before he disappears into thin air again. It's important we get it right. Else Austin will be discharged and acquainted again. I don't want us to lose him again, sir. Let's hope we won't. And let's wait for him to return from his trip from Abuja. Okay, sir. You see, you have to keep working on Sanchez. Let's see if he will cave so that we can have something concrete before Austin returns from his trip from Abuja. But make sure you discourage him from his plan to kill Austin. Else we'll be charged for murder. Yes, boss. Derek. I've been waiting for over two hours. I'm sorry. I didn't know my shooting practice would take that long. Shooting practice? Mm-hmm. Sanchez is teaching me how to use a gun. That's interesting. Yep. Do you know how to use one yourself? 
No. I guess I should try and learn how to use one too. You should. So have you heard from Austin? Yes. That's why I've come to see you. How about your plans and taking your daughter to a safe place? You refuse to help actualize that plan. Don't wait on me, Mabel. Do what you can. Because if Austin lays eye on that girl, you might never see her again. Why would you even say that? Wait, did he say something? Does he know already? Just take my advice. I don't act too suspicious in case he doesn't know anything yet. Austin is at the moment. I'm surprised you're asking me this. Austin likes to stay untraceable and invincible. He hardly tells anyone about his movements. I'm also surprised because my boss seems so sure that Austin left for Abuja. I don't understand. I had a meeting with my boss later today. And he told me, you know, he seems so sure that Austin left Lagos for Abuja. Where did he get that information from? If you're the only investigator, he gets information about this case from. I'm confused too. Are you sure it wasn't a guess? Tarek, I studied psychology. And I know when someone is guessing and when someone speaks from the knowledge of certainty. What does this mean? I don't know, but I'm definitely getting to the root of this. So here we are. I would ask how you're feeling for seeing that with this dilemma. That's a hard question to answer. Are you sure running away isn't it what we should consider? Even if we went away to another planet, I can't guarantee that you'd be safe. Derek said I should take my daughter out of the country and fast. Yes. I need you to be safe. I need you to be safe at all costs. And the only way that will happen is if you stay alert and stay alive. May I ask why? Why what? Why you care about me so much? Remember when you asked me that question? If I loved you. I'm in love with you. And I, I hope you feel the same way. I knew what was at stake when I began to have feelings for you. I tried to fight it. God knows I tried to fight it. But it was beyond me. Is he back? He who? Austin, who else? Oh. No, he's not. And to be honest, I'm not looking forward to his return. That is not a nice thing to say about someone you vowed to love for better for worse. Mm-hmm. You know, I've always been his trophy wife. All my life. And I thought that him spending money on me meant that he loved me. Even though he was hardly ever around. But I was wrong. And I know better now. It seems like you've always known better. If not, why else would you have a child for another man? That was a mistake. Yes. Okay, it was as a result of a one-night stand with an ex. Who doesn't know that the child belongs to him till now? Maybe I know things are complicated with you. Trust me, I do. 
But believe me, the best thing towards a healthy resolution is by getting your husband behind bars. I believe you. You know why? Tell me. Because you were right about Sanchez. Sanchez. Sanchez is in love with me. And he's willing to stand by me through this all. I see. I'll see you around. Okay? Yes. Do you want your brother dead or alive in prison? That is not entirely my choice to make, is it? It is now. Sanchez is in love with me, Bill, and he's going to do everything within his power to keep her to himself. And he has made his intention known that he wants to kill Austin. I'm just taking one step at a time right now, Duna. <sighs> has he contacted you since he left here? Twice after then. Why didn't you tell me? The discussion was personal and I like to keep it private. Derek, you are letting this man get into your head. Such that Mabel have seen him for the monster he is. You should too. Those two are no saints. Can we forget about everyone and focus on us? Where are we in all of this? To be honest with you, I don't know. Because it's so hard to think or focus in the midst of all of this. gift for you. Really? Oh, I love gifts. So what is it? Flowers? Chocolate? Oh no wait, diamonds. What is this? I've been impressed with the way you've um, been at shooting practice and I have no doubt that you know how to handle a gun safely. I don't. I don't want to own a gun. You should. Would you just keep this away before someone sees it? Take it, it's yours. I have a very bad feeling about this. Keep that piece on you at all times. And don't hesitate to use it if you feel it's necessary. And by that you mean when I feel unsafe around Austin? Yes. Listen, you're the last person that he will think is a threat pose any danger to him. Excuse me. Hello? Michael? Oh, Michael, you are a wanted man. Why would you do that to your wife? What are you talking about? Michael, I hope you know what you're telling me. It's not like I'm saying you made it up, but you do understand my confusion considering how, how close I am to Eunice and how long I have known her. I'll, I'll talk to you later. What's the matter? That was Eunice's husband, Michael. Oh, the one that ran away and, abs and absconded with that money, right? He tells me that Eunice was behind my kidnap. Wait, are you, are you sure? I mean, he sounded pretty sure. But see, I always suspected that the kidnapping was an insider job but I would have never thought it would be any of your friends, seeing as they're all rich. Apparently Eunice has been lying about her rich life all along. Okay, is there a way to confirm that these allegations are true? And this is not his way of just paying her back and getting retribution for what she's done to him.
Wow. Hi, Mabel. Why don't you want to come inside? You said your family members are in there. Yeah, my cousins, they're around. We're discussing on how to track down Michael and collect all my money. Interesting. He called me. Michael? Yes, Michael called me. What for? Oh, did he tell you to tell me to stop harassing his family? Because I would not stop until I get all my money from him and make him pay for having an affair that led to my sister's death. Did you mastermind my kidnap? What? Where did you hear that from? Eunice, I'm going to ask you again. And that might be the last time you get a chance for a fair consideration just because of old time's sake. Did you mastermind my kidnap? What are you talking about? I did not do such things. Does this help your memory? Mabel, put that away. Put it away. Two things, Eunice. I'll either put it away, I'll put a bullet in your head. Depends on your next response. Did you mastermind my kidnap? Yes, 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 yes. Please, please, I can explain, please. Give me one reason why I shouldn't blow your head off now. Because I'm sorry. And I will do everything within my power to make it up to you. You're sorry. Eunice, hey. Why would you do that, Eunice? You were my best friend. Michael and I are going through a rough patch and things were not getting any better. I was desperate to change our story. The only plan you could come up with was kidnapping me? I know I'm a terrible person, but I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Yes. Do you have any idea how traumatized I was? Do you? I'm sorry. But please don't let Michael win. What do you mean? Michael is trying to destroy me. That was the reason why he told you what happened. Just to cause an enmity between both of us. Jenny, so you think we are still friends after what you did? Please. <laughs> I want you to return my money. The 70 million naira you took as ransom. Return it in seven days. After that, you go your way. And I go my way. Michael took all the money. He sold the, the beauty palace. Uh, that, that's what I used the money for. I don't for. care! Eunice, I don't give a damn! I'm giving you seven days. Seven days only. And if you don't return my money, if you know how much I need that money, you will return it. And if you don't, I will come back and kill you. Get out of my car. Um, there's something I need you to look at. Hello. You must be Donna. I must be. And you must be the chairman, Mr. Austin. Hmm. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Likewise, sir. I've heard a lot about you. I'd like to thank you for being such a dedicated staff and keeping my company afloat. I'm just doing my job, sir. Mm -hmm. um, he's away, is Derek? He just stepped out for a bit. Oh, I have some documents I wanted him to look at, but I'll just come back. 
Thank you, sir. Give them to me. Sir? Let me have them. You and I, we should have lunch soon. Get to know each other better, you know. Sounds like a great plan, sir. Back. He came in unannounced as you always. Then why didn't you tell me? You didn't hear me say he came in unannounced. Then you would have notified me the moment he came in. Every minute is crucial right now. Now that you know he's in there, what are you going to do to him? I will contact my boss and let, me, let him know that Austin is around and see if we have any grounds to arrest him. Slow down, Donna. You really? Get hurt. I've been working my ass off this case since. And now that the target is here, you're telling me to slow down. It's for your own good. Please, don't tell me it's for my own good. Hello, Donna. Sir, I just thought you might want to know that Austin is around as we speak. Okay. Sir, can you check with the authorities and police if I can make the arrest right now? No. Um, we still have insufficient evidence. Sir, please, can you check with the police and be doubly sure? You're becoming overzealous, Donna. Are you second-guessing my direct order? No, sir. I'm sorry if I sounded that way, but I can't just wait for this criminal to be put behind bars. Look, Donna, you really need to calm down and not ruin our progress this far with your hyperactiveness. I brought you on board on this case. When I say you should calm down, you should do just that, right? Yes, sir. Why is everyone telling me to calm down now? What's all this rubbish? <laughs> Is your wife aware you're in the country? Not yet. Why, why are you avoiding her? Avoiding? What gives you that impression? I was expecting she'd be the first to know when you came into the country. But it's been weeks now and she's yet to know. <clears throat> What's her position with things with you and that donor chick? She used to work for a private investigation firm. And I know all that story, and that's not what I asked you. Are you still an item? It depends on what you mean. Is she your girlfriend? Yes, she is. And are you her boyfriend? If she's my girlfriend, that means I'm her boyfriend. That's not what you told me over the phone when you found out her true identity and her mission in this company. I know I said uh, I'm in a relationship to be in the know about the investigation regarding you. And are you still in a relationship or has it changed? Nothing has changed. I'm with her to protect you. You know, I never in my wildest imagination suspected Eunice. I trusted that girl with my deepest secrets. Well, now you know better. Yes. Now I wish I had pulled that trigger and watched her brain splatter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know I didn't give you the guns so you go around shooting people, right? Well, I'm definitely going to shoot her in seven days if she doesn't return the 70 million naira she took for ransom. <laughs> 
And I hope you didn't tell her of that. Of course I did. Oh, no, that's a mistake. You don't tell a person that you're about to kill him when you plan to kill him or the day you're going to kill him. Well, I had to make her understand that this is serious. Or you just gave her time to plan a defensive attack. No, nah, she won't be stupid. Or she could just run away from you and get as far away from you as possible. Then I'll make her pay. You know, I have a feeling that she sold the information of the paternity of my daughter to Derek. Where is he? He left. So yeah. Please don't ask me questions you know I don't have answers to. So what did you guys discuss when he was here? Work. Just that? Yes. Why don't I believe you? Why are you calling me a liar? Because you're avoiding eye contact with me. And it's unlike you, Derek. So tell me, are you hiding something from me? Donor, can you please back off from trying to put Austin behind bars? Don't ask me why, because I can't tell you. You can't or you won't. Listen to me. This is beyond you. I've made some discoveries in recent times that says Austin is truly and really untouchable. Don't be ridiculous, Derek. Take it from me, you need to back off. As a matter of fact, you need to resign. And stay away from here. Tell me why. I can't. Tell me why, Derek. I can't, but you need to go. I'm not leaving until I make your brother face the full rot of the law. Hello, Rachel. Quite some time. Um, I've been busy, Mabel. How have you been? I've been busy too. Um, look, have you heard from Eunice? I've been trying to reach her and I haven't been able to. I even went to her house and she's moved out. I've not spoken to her since she was arrested for her sister's murder. Why? Would you believe if I told you that Eunice masterminded my kidnap? It's ridiculous. I asked her to just return the 70 million naira she took as a ransom. And then the babe just blocked my number and changed her address. Um, sorry about that, Mabel. I, I have to go now. Bye. Listen, if you hear... Hello? Where are you? Why do you want to know? Listen, Dona. I know you think you've come too far to give up now. But if you cherish your life, you resign like I asked. Not going to happen. I won't give up now that I'm close to getting one of the biggest drug traffickers in history. You think you are close, but you're very far away from putting Austin behind bars. Say whatever you like, Derek. I am not a quitter. Then you leave me no choice. I'll have to fire you. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm not. Effective immediately, your services are no longer needed in Mitzvahs. 
You don't even have to come over to pick up your termination letter. I will have it delivered to you. Really? What is wrong with you, Derek? Why are you so determined to get rid of me? Because I care about you. If you do, you will tell me what I need to know. What you need to know is that this is a lost battle. And you'll get yourself hurt if you keep trying to fight it. Derek, what did you find out? I cannot tell you. Because you only want to keep fighting the more and you cannot win. Stop speaking in parables, Derek! Sack letter. I'm sorry, Donna, but you have to go. <laughs> oh, word. See you tomorrow, boss. Donna, you can't come back here! The affair with my wife and Sanchez. How deep is it? Deep enough for him to stick around, despite the fact that people know about them. And my brother is aware of this? Yeah, positive. Maybe we begged him to keep it a secret. Is my brother Derek in love with Donna? Yeah, she made him fall in love with her. Good. I am going to use that to teach him a lesson. Loyalty. How do you mean? You will find out in due time. That reminds me. You are yet to handle Sanchez. All in due time. Now aside, my friend and business partner, having an affair with my wife and my brother, not telling me about it. What other information do you have for me? There's one big one I'm here to tell you, but that will come after we have discussed my renegotiation. What? Renegotiation. Come on, Austin. Look, I'm your eyes and your ears in this job. Give me some credit. I have done so much for you concerning this job. So, how much more do you want? Um, I was hoping you would double the agreed fee. How about we triple it? <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Don't I scorn you? <sighs> Hello, Donna. I don't know why Derek is trying to get rid of me. But I know that he knows something really huge that he's trying to hide from me, sir. And what could that be? I don't know. I don't know, sir, but I have this feeling that it's an evidence that we could use to nail us thing for good. So, Mabel and Sanchez do not have the information? I doubt they have. Check with them first. You never can tell. <sighs> um, sir, have you contacted the police? and other authorities to know if they have concrete evidence that could nail Austin for good. No one has anything yet. Oh, okay.
I thought you were not coming again. I told you I'd be here. That was like three hours ago. Okay, I'm here now. You said you needed to see what's up. Austin is back in town. Okay. I just found some certain information that made me realize you were right when you said trying to arrest Austin was a waste of time. Care to share? Fortunately, I can't. But because I respect you, I'll give you a heads up. I'm coming clean with Austin, and I'm going to tell him everything so I can resolve my issues with him. When you say coming clean, what exactly do you mean? Telling him about my luxury goods company and also the truth about his daughter's paternity. Why are you going to throw Mabel under the bus like that? He's going to find out one way or the other, sooner than later. And he's not going to take it lightly if he knows I knew about this and kept it from him. So the affair with Mabel and I, you're going to tell him that as well? That's deniable. It was a rumor I heard but didn't believe because I don't think you do such a thing. But the paternity part, that is too huge for anyone to deny. I appreciate the consideration coming to me first. I'm just trying to save my neck in all of this. Can I ask you a favor? I'm not telling you what I found out that made me make this decision. No, no, no. It's not that. Can I have like one or two days to tell Mabel so she can prepare herself for what is coming? Sure. But tell her not to try and talk me out of this. My mind's already made up. Wait, Derek told you that? Yeah, he said, um, said his mind is pretty made up. What? Derek can't do that. I mean, it will ruin me. Not if you're smart enough to act fast and handle things. Would you handle things for me? Listen, Austin is already suspicious of me, and he probably will be careful around me, but you, you he won't see coming or have his guard down. Who are you calling? Hello, Mabel. Derek, so you have decided to use me as a collateral damage to earn your brother's forgiveness. I'm guessing Sanchez has spoken with you. Yes, he did. And I'm wondering why you've become so callous. Trust me, this is the last option. This situation is beyond all of us. Derek, have you thought about what Austin would do to my daughter and I if he found out about the paternity of my daughter? Have you considered what he will do to me if he finds out later that I knew I didn't tell him about this? Listen, I will not tell him that you knew about it. Easier said, Mabel. Derek, you have my word. Not good enough. Okay, would you at least let me tell him myself? That's another angle. At least when you confess, he will temper justice with mercy. Hopefully. When are you going to tell him? I don't know yet. Don't play games with me, Mabel. Listen, I don't know. Okay? He doesn't even want me to know he's in town. You can talk to him on the phone. Really, Derek? Listen, some discussions are meant to happen face to face. Once I see him, I will have this discussion with him. Okay, I can work with that plan. Thank you. Wait, I think... Are you really going to confess? Of course not. I only told him that to buy some time. 
I don't even know when next is going to see Austin. Listen, that is a temporary solution. You know what you need to do if you want a permanent one. Are you ready to go home? Not yet. Well, I have somewhere important that I need to be. I'll see you later. Darling husband is back. Welcome, I was expecting. Surprise, you still remember my name. What is that supposed to mean? Is this your idea of marriage? Abandoning your family for as long as possible. When you talk, you sound like I didn't make adequate provisions for you to meet your financial needs. Austin, I was kidnapped. You didn't even make out time to ensure my safety. And I gave Derek specific orders to handle it. And from the way you look right now, I think he handled it pretty fine. This wasn't what I envisaged our marriage to be. Austin, you make me feel so worthless. Mabel, you knew exactly what you were signing up for. Besides, the nature of my sailing job requires a lot of me. I'm not an idiot, Austin. You are not a sailor. I know what your real job is, but it doesn't justify your insensitivity. And what exactly is my real job, man? I was on my way home. You can meet me at home, that's if you still remember the address. I can't come home. Why? I would like to tell you, but I can't. Austin, I haven't seen you in over a year. And now you tell me you can't come home with me. Look, maybe I will see you tomorrow. Or next. I have a flight to catch to Ghana. Now listen, you, I can't... Save it. You don't need to explain anything to me. I should be used to your disappearing act by now. See you when I see you. I told you not to come back here. And I told you I'm not leaving until I get what I came here for. You no longer work here. I'll be interviewing other people for that position today. Yeah. Fine. Then I'll resume here every morning and I'll sit in your office until closing hours. No, you won't do that. Why not? You're my boyfriend and I want to spend quality time with you even at work. Don't make me get security to throw you out. Oh, you won't do that. Can't you I'm trying to save your life? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't need your savings, Derek. I am a big girl and I can take care of myself. What's going on here? Good morning, sir. Good morning, Donna. Derek? She no longer works here. She shouldn't be here. She's no longer a staff. Why is that? Since when? I fired her yesterday. For what? You've always spoken highly of her competence, dedication, hard work. Well, she used to be all that. But I've found someone better to fit in her position now. No. Donna stays. Sir? You heard me. If anything, she deserves to be promoted for her contribution for the growth of this company. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. 
When can we have the lunch that we talked about the other day? Um, later today, if it's fine by you, sir. That's perfect. All right, run along now. Thank you, sir. the idea behind this launch date? I like to know my staff on a personal level. This girl is bad for business. It's not a good idea to keep her around. Why do you say so? You wish she's a private investigator sent to this company as an undercover agent. You said you flipped her and she now works for us as a spy for the authorities. Bro, I don't trust this girl. We should let her go. I say she stays. Have you gone home to see your wife now? I have seen her, but not at home. Did she tell you anything? Anything like what? I don't know. You sound like you know exactly what she wants to say to me. What I meant was you've been away for a while now. It's only natural for her to have things to tell you. If you think so. He said he saw you yesterday. Yes, it was at the lounge yesterday. So why didn't you do as you promised? Because he didn't even stay five minutes. He said he had a flight to catch. Well, he's back now, so come right away and tell him. Derek, some revelations are not meant for the work environment. I've told you I will talk to him about it. Once he gets back, we will talk about it. Today? I don't know. You ask him when he's coming home. Can I help you? What lunch date is Austin talking about in there? None of your business. Donna, please listen. You're putting your life on the line. That's my job, Derek. We need to stay alive to do your job. Derek, you're a coward. You prefer to hide under your brother's shadow, right? You're smart, but you're not intelligent. Now you insult me. Yes, because I'm giving you the opportunity to detach yourself from your brother's illegal ways and clean up your mess. So they can look over your shoulders, but no, you prefer to be timid and be at the other side of the law, right? Remember what Sanchez told us about Austin having a lot of law enforcement agencies under his payroll? Mm-hmm. Well, it's true. And we're talking way above your pay grade. Top officials that will ensure he goes out free, even if he's caught with a truckload of drugs. Derek, they are bad eggs in all professions, especially the law enforcement. But that will not stop me from doing what is right. I just hope it's not too late before you realize the danger you're in. Derek, I do well the dangers. You know, I don't even know how I managed to act like I had nothing to hide. I was so terrified, but it didn't show. Do you think he knows anything? No, and that was the only reason I could pull it off. And he refused to go home? He said he had a flight to catch to Ghana, and I don't know when he'll be back. Listen, unless you're prepared to defend yourself with that gun, Make sure you are not alone with Austin in a place that is not safe. One second. Darling? Sanchez, how are you? Oh, hey Austin. <laughs> you finally reach out. I mean, I, I would have reached out to you, but you, you know how you like to be unreachable and invisible. The nature of a job demands for such privacy. Where are you at the moment? Oh, I'm actually at the lounge with your wife. I uh, resumed my bodyguard duties yesterday morning. Cool. But you were not on duty last night when I stopped over to see her at the lounge. Oh, uh, my boys were there. Hmm. I didn't notice. Uh, 
well, they like to be like you, <laughs> invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be coming over to the lounge later. I guess I will see you then. Sure thing, boss. See you later. Sanchez. You're a living dead. He said he's coming over later. But I'm not going to be here. Why not? I'll be at my daughter's school. I want to spend the whole day with her. If you don't mind me asking why? Because I feel like I haven't been giving her the attention that I should be giving her. And what about her father? I mean, her real father. What about him? Why is he not in the picture? Because he doesn't know I have a child for him and I would like for it to stay that way. Hello, Austin. What's the emergency? When am I getting the money you promised to triple? Really? That's why you called me? I told you never to call me on this line except it's an emergency. Well, this qualifies for an emergency for me. I have an urgent need for that money. I have some family issues I need to sort out. How about I bring the cash to you later today? <sighs> Well, I will appreciate that. Okay then. See you later. Okay. So, are you still a private investigator? Yes and no. Aren't you going to ask me? How I knew you were a private investigator. Either Sanchez or Derek must have told you after I was discovered while I was undercover. And are you still undercover? I'm a double agent now. I'm not proud of it. But it's what we do for love. Love. Derek and I, we love each other. Why did he try to fire you from the company? Well, he thinks he's protecting me. From what? You, I guess. So, tell me, how did you get into this line of business? Oh, I have always been fascinated by automobiles and the real estate business ever since I was a child. I mean your drug trafficking business. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I thought the purpose of this meeting was to get to know each other better. Exactly. And that's why I want you and the people who sent you undercover to my company to know that you're wasting your time. Hi, I'm a legitimate businessman. And you know that's not true. Mr. Austin, there's no need to lie about this. I am on your team now. Good for you. And I am not a liar. Who are you chatting with? A friend. Hmm. So, your story with my brother was one scenario from a Hollywood movie. And what do you mean? The undercover agent who falls in love with the supposed criminal. Except Derek isn't a criminal in this case. Who is? You and I know the answer to that question. The only answer I know is that there is no criminal in this case. Oh, you don't trust me enough to confide in me. I expect that trust is a rare quality to expect from anyone, not even from yourself. And why do you say that? Because humans are wired to disappoint. It's nature. 
When no man is an island, you should trust somebody. If nobody else would you put Derek in charge of your business if you don't trust him. He's my brother and I expect you have my interest at heart. Of course he does. Hmm. Well, I will be on my way. I have things to catch up with. You can find your way back to the office. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you for the drink. Well, thank you. For obliging. Where is he? He had some place to be. Why are you restless? If you know what I know, you'll be restless too. Maybe, maybe not. But you just don't do well under pressure. This is not about pressure, Donna. What did you discuss at lunch? This and that, blah, blah, blah. That is blah. not an answer, Donna. You had stops from me and you want me to be open with you. That's because your life depends on it. Stop threatening me, please. This is not a threat. Okay. Promise me you will see reasons if I tell you what I know. I promise. Your boss Amos works for my brother. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one, Derek. They're trying to discourage me, Abby, and he's still fear. I am not joking, Dona. <laughs> he's Austin's informant. No. <laughs> yes, Dona. You see, this is way beyond you. I was having a meeting with your partner. Donna? She's quite an interesting girl. She said Derek fired her. I reversed that decision. But why? Look, she's no longer needed in that space. So I thought it was an opportunity for us to send her away without any suspicion. I still need her around. That's a bad idea. And you know it. Look, the last time I checked, Dona is the sharpest mind I know. And it took me a lot to keep her in the dark for so long. That's why I like her. Plus, she's useful to me. For now. Anyway, that is your own decision. But you see, you have to be very careful. I'm always careful. Um, so, where's my money? Amos. Hey, you know, the disadvantage of letting someone know you so much when they have so much information against you is that they can use it against you. Kind of blackmail you sometimes. I don't understand. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. I mean, look at you. How else would you demand that I pay you twice the amount I've always paid you, if not for the fact that you have so much information on my life, my business? But I am not blackmailing you. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying, I'm beginning to be comfortable. I 
a package, I need you to make disappear.